November the 14th, 2015. A brutal wake-up for France. After attacks in Paris and its outskirts, much of the capital is shut down. The streets are empty, police and army patrol. The country is in shock. One year on, having endured more terror attacks along the way, French people are refusing to give in to fear. But some things are easier said than done. We're less trusting. We're more vigilant. I, for instance, never used to be careful to pay attention when a veiled woman passed by me. You walk into a cafe and do, well, or maybe concerts, football games, big gatherings. You can't not think about it. The attack on the Bataclan concert hall was very damaging for the concert industry. Ticket sales for live events were down 80% during the two following weeks. Venues turned to bouncers to reassure the public, but the landscape has changed. Now people prefer to go see big stars. In terms of live music, less people are going to watch emerging artists in small concert halls where audiences are down by 9%. And the same goes for restaurants. Across the sector, many say their terraces and dining rooms have emptied. Even this summer, restaurants reported an 11% drop in business within Paris and a 6% drop across France. The people who live in the suburbs now stay in their suburbs and have rediscovered their areas, something that's very good for our suburban comrades. They're good restaurants, cinemas and theatres. So people from the suburbs have stayed in their suburbs. For those who do go out, the sight of police patrols is the new normal. Security checks, suspicious luggage alerts and even children training against terror attacks have become commonplace. But despite all that, French people remain optimistic. When we look at the figures for French people's optimism, as measured by the National Institute for Statistics, so a reputable source, these numbers haven't been affected by the climate or insecurity. And despite that climate, French people still feel like they're coming out of a crisis. And they're finding a taste for consumerism again and for durable goods. With such conflicting studies, it's hard to say if French attitudes really have changed or if it's simply a fighting spirit that's keeping moods up. But one thing is for sure, the memory of that fateful night is never far from people's minds.